Hi, my name's Anique. I'm a physiotherapist here at Centric Health, and today we're going to be talking about crutches. Crutches aren't very complicated to use, but there are a few tips that will keep you safer and also make the crutches more effective in your recovery. So we have recruited Mal, our clinic assistant, and she has volunteered to have a sore left ankle, which has blue tape, so that will uh, let you know which one um, she's injured. So first of all, we're going to make sure that the crutches are the right size for Mal, and that's really important. So she's going to stand with her crutches underneath her and her arms by her side. We're going to make sure she's got two or three fingers between the top of the crutch and her armpit, which keeps the nerve safe in her armpit. And when her arms are by her side, her wrist crease, which is the part of the wrist that bends, should be right about at the grip of the crutch. So when she puts her hands on the grip, she'll have a little bit of a bend in her elbow, which means she'll be using her triceps muscles to walk, which is much safer than leaning through her armpit. So we are going to um, assume that Mal has hurt her ankle playing soccer and she's not able to put any weight through it. So she's been told to use crutches. And so when Mal uses the crutches in a non-weight bearing, where she's not going to have her sore leg on the ground, she's going to place the crutches ahead of her a little bit and she's going to hop to them with her good foot, keeping the injured uh, foot off the ground. And uh, now we're going to fast forward a couple of weeks. Mal's been coming to all her physio appointments. She's been doing all her home exercises and her ankle's feeling quite a bit better. So now we're going to uh, progress her to what's called partial weight bearing. And partial weight bearing means that you can put some weight through your injured leg, but not all of it. So when she does this, it's very similar to non-weight bearing. She's going to put her crutches ahead of her. And instead of having her sore leg in the air, she's actually going to step her sore leg on the ground and put a little bit of weight through it and the rest through the crutches and then step through with her good leg. All right, um, and Mal's a superstar with her rehab. She's done remarkably well, and now she's allowed to go to one crutch. Um, this is where most people make the biggest mistake. Um, it doesn't seem logical, but the one crutch has to be on the opposite side from the injury, not on the same side. So that actually widens the base of support and will take more weight off the injured leg. So when Mal does that, she's going to have her crutch on her right side, and she's going to move her crutch and her injured leg together and distribute the weight between the crutch and her foot. Okay, so before we wrap up, there is just one other thing I'd like to say about crutches, and that is just um, a little bit of a safety talk. I'm going to get Mal to demonstrate what most people do when they're standing around on crutches, talking to their friends or waiting for the bus. This posture is not healthy. Um, it is bad on every joint in your body, but most importantly, you put compression on nerves and blood vessels that go under your armpit down to your arm, and that can cause nerve damage. And given that you'll probably be on crutches four to six weeks, it's not a good habit to get into. So if you have more questions about crutches or how to fit them for you or how to use them, look up your local physiotherapist and I'm sure they'd be happy to help you.